Halloween just around the corner, isn't it? My little ones are over the moon. If you ever really shop for a good costume, you know how expensive it can be, whether it's for the kids or for you. And that's when we turn to our friend Sarah Butner with Goodwill Industries. Surveys have found that uh, people who like to make their own costumes, uh, thrift stores are the number one place to find uh, the, the clothing and accessories that they need to make those. And Goodwill is usually the number one choice. So, and the reason for that is because you can find things uh, so uh, inexpensively. And even if you're creating a really popular costume, you can make something really unique if you're putting it together yourself with things that you find at Goodwill. Now, Sarah says when choosing a costume, you got to keep an open mind. You can look in departments that you might normally not think of and you find something you love. Also, be creative. And she said, especially if you're shopping with other friends, maybe you have a group theme in mind. Group costumes are more and more popular. Uh, about a third of people surveyed said that they uh, intend to coordinate their costume with either a friend or a group of friends. So, uh, and we know that pop culture costumes are also the most popular category of costume this year. So we created a group of costumes from the characters from Schitt's Creek, uh, the Netflix uh, TV show. Uh, that's a, that's falls into both categories, the pop culture inspired, and it's a really easy group costume to put together. And each of the costumes that, uh, that we uh, are, are wearing uh, only cost about $10 each or, or less for each one. All right, so I asked you on Facebook to describe your best homemade costume ever. Here's what you had to say. Some good answers here. Wendy says, when we lived in Florida, I dressed up my husband as the Pillsbury Doughboy. I like that one. Becca says, my mom made a Raggedy Ann costume when I was in kindergarten with a full mop head dyed the, for the hair and made the rest of the costume by actually sewing it by hand. That's a lot of work. Amber says, my mom dressed me up as a spider web one year, dressed all in white. I had the web string all, uh, all over the place and spiders in the web as well. Deborah says, uh, jellyfish had streamers hanging from a clear umbrella and lights wrapped around it. Tammy says all black attire with a shot glass necklace that said a shot in the dark. Get it? Oh, I love those. I like that. That's I had funny. a friend once who wore a gray sweatshirt with a, a black letter P on it and he had black around his eye like a black eye and he was a black eyed P. Oh, yeah. that's creative. Yeah, that's really like cute. Those. What about y'all? I was um Foxy Brown for like four years <laughs> in a row. So the big Afro wig yeah. had like the bell bottoms and everything. That's always an easy one to do, to That's be someone fun. from like the I 70s. love Halloween. I so one year, my husband and I, we were Wendy Peppercorn and Squints from the Sandlot. <laughs> uh -huh. So he had the big glasses, but this year I'm so excited. Baylor's first Halloween. Oh, that's right. Because we called her Baby Bee and she's our little bee. We're going to dress her as a bumblebee. That's perfect. And we're going to be beekeepers and her big brother, Wrigley, <laughs> our dog, is going to be a flower. Oh, That's so awesome. Cute. The beekeeper outfit with carrying that cute little thing around, please. Yeah. With our little bumblebee. That kind <laughs> of so reminds excited. me of my um, hairstylist. She was telling me, because she has twin girls, that she's going to be Corella and her daughters oh, are going to be her gosh. little Dalmatians. I so I'm excited to that. see her pictures. That's going to be super cute. When the twins were little, I wanted to do thing one and thing two from oh. Cat in the Hat because I thought that would be funny. My wife said no, <laughs> but, but I thought that would be a cute one. And then um, I actually own two costumes. I bought them a long time ago because I said, I'm going to keep these forever. I'll just use them for uh -huh. Halloween stuff. So one is Austin Powers and the other one is Captain Kirk from Star Trek. <laughs> so when William Shatner goes up tomorrow, I'll be watching that. Video. Maybe you should bring out that costume. Yeah. Oh, you yes. should do the, we should dress up in costumes we and do the four to five one That day. would be so much fun. Well, Halloween's on a Sunday this year, right? So maybe we could do it We could start Friday. early on that Friday. Friday. Yes. Okay. Well, y'all let us know what your favorite costumes are right now on the Facebook feed. Sounds like a deal. We're coming back. <laughs> Stay right there.